it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside and break it inside. Really well run route. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Now Jones. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. An 8-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs are able to cut into that deficit. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. Sometimes a group that gets overlooked, certainly the offensive line. Right there, they really helped with that score. Didn't they tell us in our meeting that when we score touchdowns, running the ball, that means the offensive line actually scored first by moving people back beyond the end zone. We saw evidence of that on that play. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. So that play much needed there as they're all the way up near the 40 for a first and 10. And they got the hookup. This is Olsen. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. This is McCaffrey on the give. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Back to throw, Newton. And the tight end, Olsen, right side. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, this is a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Despite the fancy footwork we saw, they'll get to him just inside the 15. The completion good for three and it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Newton to throw. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run as his guys continue to pour it on. And my friend, I think it's safe to say that this game is pretty much deceased at this point. It, it's <laughs> taken a knee, so to speak. It is definitely this victory formation. Take the snap, take the knee, call it a night, you know, call it a game, call it whatever. I agree with you totally. I don't think there's much left to get except for those who want to run up the score. <laughs> 
I knew this was over about a minute ago when you took your stat sheet and just flipped it over your shoulder in the trash can. Yeah, that's, that's, my, yeah, that's similar to the guys cutting tape off yeah. right before the yeah. game's over. We know this thing's done. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. From the gun, Winston. That's complete to his receiver, Gatlin. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Winston. Airing this one out for Evans. That's caught inside the 20. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Mike Evans, 64 yards. And the Bucs are able to cut in now to that deficit. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead is down to 24. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. <laughs> Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. 19 yards there on the catch and run. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's... And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. They juked him. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That'll go as a loss of nine, and it leads to third down. Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Newton now to throw. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Following the interception, Winston. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bucs capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. So now a two-point conversion attempt coming for Winston and the Bucs. Throwing, Winston. 
This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that extra, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Carolina getting set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. First down, now a first down throw for Newton. They'll roll him out right. He's got his man on the crossing route. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Looking long for Thomas. And that's caught inside the 30. Give him 30 yards there. So the ref takes a peek here, wants to see if the receiver had possession and both feet inbounds. If this were a college game, this would be a legal catch. It's the second foot that they're looking at to make sure it gets down. You have to have two inbounds in the NFL. Coach relied on his eagle eye in the sky to make the right call and was told to challenge it. And it looks like it's paid off. And from a coach's standpoint, when you throw that flag, it's probably a pretty tense moment here it pays off. Yeah, you have that little bit of indecision. You throw it where you feel like you're right, and then you think, uh-oh, did I get it right? In this case, they can celebrate. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first. Now this from 43. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goal post. And that will stretch the lead up to three touchdowns. Now it's a 21-point game. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Bucks now. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. 
I remember playing for a guy once we were down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense. But they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he works free. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Tampa.